There's no denying Toyota's hybrid CN minivan has been anything short of a success for them. They simply can't build enough to satiate the market demand. Now, there are weaknesses to the CN. If you missed my review last year, or should I say for the 2023 model year, the thing is loud on the highway. There's hardly any wind suppression, at least on most grades that don't have the acoustic glass. But I was able to get 37 miles per gallon on the highway, which is just absurd. But while most of the Toyota lineup gets improvements in the technology department, will the Sienna get the upgrades for 2024? Let's get into it. Over at the Toyota newsroom, I was so excited. You guys know I'm a big fan of minivans. I have a Sienna. It's my second Sienna for the family. And yeah, they just work great for families, the sliding doors. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't need to get into it. Minivans kick ass. But for 2024, the improvements to the Sienna that I wanted to see were not made. But what did they do for it? There's an XSC premium package, which adds leather seat, blind spot monitor, power tilt, steering wheel, and more. The and more though here is pretty important because it gives us ventilated front seats. And that's what the XSC was missing on the previous model year is that we were driving in the heat of the summer in the Sienna minivan and we were sticking to that soft tech seat. So this is definitely a big upgrade for the XSE, this premium package with the ventilated seats for sure. The Woodland Edition gets more colors. Big whoop, we've had Woodland Editions in the past. They haven't upgraded the safety technology in here to 3.0, which is a swing and a miss. You can get a Corolla for half the price that I think has safety sense 3.0 nowadays. What did they need to do to this Sienna in my opinion to improve it? Well, get rid of this tiny four inch MID behind here and replace it with the standard seven inch screen. And then for the top grades, give us the 12 inch screen that we see on the RAV4, on the Highlander, on the Crown. And 50,000 plus dollars on some of the top trims here, you're not getting that technology. That is not good enough in my opinion, Toyota. And I think a part of it is because they don't, it doesn't matter. They can kind of get away because there's such there's such a big backlog of demand of Sienna customers since the pandemic and the lack of production on these things uh, is that they could literally just put basic technology in here, which they are doing, basic safety technology, which they are doing, and laugh their way to the bank. So that's what I think is going on here. I'm sure there are more reasons for it than just that, but as a consumer, and that's how I see it. They are just not giving the Sienna attention and spending money on it because it is making money for them without blinking an eye. It's kind of like the Forerunner situation. The Forerunner has been extended for so long because why change what isn't broken? Why get rid of your money mint? that prints money for the company. And that's what's happening for the Sienna, I believe, why they're not updating it. Anyways, I'll see you guys down below on why you think the Sienna is not getting the updates that a Corolla that costs half the price has over this. So look at this tiny screen here, guys. And not only is it tiny, it has the old software, which requires you to be tethered in via a cord to have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Yes, I like having a volume and tuning knob and some of these dedicated buttons, but let's be real. Toyota can do a lot better with this setup. I've not done it. And for 2024, it should have been refreshed, right? Came out as a, yeah, came out as a 2021 model year for this newest generation with five generations on the Sienna already. No, I think it's, I think it's four generations on the Sienna, but I could fact check myself if I need to. But yeah, fourth generation Sienna, all hybrid, no prime model, um, all old technology. But yeah, it came out in 2021. So every three years or so, there should be a refresh on the product in some way, shape, or form. It doesn't need to have styling updates. It's a minivan for crying out loud. Like you, you already are sacrificing style for practicality. So it doesn't need to look amazing. But the Sienna absolutely needs to have cutting edge technology. And you know, I'm still a little bit jaded that the new Sienna got rid of a Blu-ray drive. Call me old school, call me call me what you want, but having a DVD player or Blu-ray drive in a in a minivan is game changing. In my opinion, only the Honda Odyssey and maybe maybe the uh, Pacifica has it too, but I haven't reviewed that. And you guys know why I'm passionate about the Sienna because not only do I own them, I believe it is an incredible utility machine and it could be perfected. And instead, Toyota is not putting in 
uh, the work to make this a better minivan because it already sits atop the minivan segment in terms of desirability. It is what it is, but let's get into what other updates they may have made for 2024. We have a Woodland Edition, which we had the Sienna Woodland Edition of 2022. I guess they didn't have it for 2023, but yeah, did anyone know that was actually gone for 2023? I had no idea. But there's LE, XLE, XSE uh, Limited, Ultra, pla uh, Ultra Plush, it's a Platinum Grade, as well as the Woodland. More into the Sienna XSE Premium. This this must be like their best-selling grade or one of their more popular grades. So let's read on what they have to say about the XSE Premium here. All right, we mentioned the leather. Eight-way power adjustability and memory function for the driver. Orange accent stitching in the cabin, which it already had. A tilting and telescopic steering column with memory function. Okay, before it was just uh, manual, which is not that big of a deal. 7-inch MID instead of the 4-inch MID. Uh, heated and ventilated front seats. Like I said, ventilated front seats in here is much appreciated because those soft tech seats previously or on the base grade of the XSE are extremely hot and sticky, and they are not perforated. Heated side view mirrors. Blind spot monitor, auto reverse tilt, puddle lamps, and the LE and XLE grades receive darkened chrome accented headlights, and the wheels on the XSE all wheel drive and Woodley grade take on a darker finish too. All right, that's kind of neat. Also, 2024 model Siennas are expected to arrive at dealerships this October with a starting MSRP of $37,185. That is not including destination. So I hopefully we'll get pricing here in a little bit. Does it? Yes, we got pricing here at the bottom. We'll go over there last. All right. If you guys want to know more about this sexy Woodland Edition, it uh, comes with E all wheel drive standard, which lowers the fuel economy a bit by one MPG. It is available in cement and midnight black metallic. So they, I guess it's no longer offered in the Cypress color, which I thought was pretty cool. Well, it says it also offers distinctive exterior premium and interior styling, but the big thing is, is that we have slightly added ground clearance here. Is anyone asking? Let me know down below if you think the Woodland Sienna is something that you cannot live without. I think I'm still waiting on the Sienna Prime. Just keep in mind before we get into the price and comparisons between 2023 and 24 does not include the $1,400 uh, DHP fee. So bake that into all of these um, prices that you see. All right, up top is 2023 model year pricing and below is 2024 model year pricing. And again, add the 1400 bucks on to all these prices that you see here. Okay, so the pricing here, I wish it was apples to apples, but they changed it a little bit into more of a linear format. So we have all the front wheel drive models up front and then L, uh, all wheel drive models here on the bottom. But from what I'm seeing with the LE, the LE base price of the Sienna has gone up 1800 bucks compared to last year's model so and you're not getting any new technology or anything like that as a benefit uh xle 40,695 and it goes to 42,495 again 1800 dollar price increase there let's look at the top end the sienna platinum uh just skip into the far end of the spectrum here uh, all wheel drive is 51605 the platinum here is 53405 So again, $1,800 increase here. It looks like about, I'm not going to go through every single one, but just know that the Sienna has gone up about 1800 bucks across the board. No upgrades for the vehicle at all, where most of the attention was brought to the XSE Premium uh, Package Edition, as well as the Woodland reintroduction again into 2024 model year. So still a great minivan. I really like the Sienna. Its strongest suit is by far. It's 36 miles per gallon. I got 37 miles per gallon cranking the AC. So we're going to be waiting, uh, I guess, another year, potentially two more years before we see that sort of technology uh, that we see on much lesser expensive Toyotas enter into uh, the Sienna lineup, which is, like I said, very disappointing. I'll see you guys down below. Uh, I know this is a bit more of a rant fest, but I'll have more Toyota videos coming up that are much more uh, positive Toyota. But hey, I I feel like they absolutely deserve criticism here uh, for letting this 
vehicle, the, the my beloved Sienna essentially not get the attention that it needs. I'm fired up as I get fired up a lot oftentimes about Lexus vehicles not getting uh, the technology or the attention or the powertrains that they deserve as well. But yeah, anyways, the Sienna unfortunately gets a lot more expensive and unfortunately doesn't get the attention it needs to just be current within uh, the Toyota lineup. But thank you guys for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoyed today's uh, content. And I'll see you in the next one. Long live the Sienna. Long live the minivan.